is Bigfoot. Not that kind of Bigfoot. The actual Bigfoot. An ape-like creature that is believed to have existed long before humans, with sightings dating back hundreds of years. But how can something so big be so hard to find? Well, today, I'm gonna see how close I can get to the truth. Welcome to the Bigfoot capital of the world. Humboldt County is known as the Bigfoot capital of the world with thousands of confirmed sightings. If I'm gonna find Bigfoot, it's gonna be in Willow Creek, California. And to increase my odds of finding the big furry guy, I got some advice from Bigfoot expert Ron, who's been featured on History Channel, the Travel Channel, Discovery Channel, and the Kardashians. Okay, so he wasn't you know, on the Kardashians. But this guy's legit. So Ron, you've been looking for Bigfoot for a while now. Well, I've been researching it for a while. You've been researching. Ron has been interacting with Bigfoot for over 50 years, and he claims there isn't just one. It's a whole species. You've seen some activity. When was your first interaction? We haven't come around on camp quite a few times. Usually we usually wouldn't interact with us so we got inside the shelter we had. Ron went on to tell me that he successfully lured Bigfoot using food. We took our food things because we left it out for it. For them. Interesting, that okay. So your food was taken on that occasion? Yeah. According to Ron, some Bigfoots can be somewhat unpredictable and potentially dangerous. What kind of tips do you have for me while I'm out there? Well, we learned, but don't shine flashlights, quite blinding lights, they don't like it all. Don't jump up and go looking for them because if they want to interact with you, they'll come in and do it. But don't try to trick them, I'll suggest that. Let them make the first move. <laughs> well, they'll find you. And with those wise words, I grabbed Isaac the intern and headed straight to California. All right, just uh, pulled up in my hot ride here to the cabins that we're staying at. Got the intern. Somebody has to film this. Right outside of this town called Willow Creek, and there is Bigfoot stuff everywhere in town. After arriving at our Airbnb, I was approached by a fellow Bigfooter. This is Paul, retired LAPD officer and fellow Bigfooter. It was a sighting. My wife just told me about the sighting it happened, I think, about a week ago. He was not too far from A week ago? Oh, about a week ago. Holy smokes. Yeah. That's recent. That's like really recent. Really recent. And a couple guys were fishing. Yeah. And the Bigfoot was kind of fishing too off. Distance, yeah. And apparently they saw him pick up a big fish and then he was walking and it fell and back into the water and he did a big grunt. Yeah. He just walked back into the... No way. Yeah. And I'm like totally excited about that because that's pretty recent. Hearing someone with first-hand experience of Bigfoot after being in this town for all of 20 minutes was, well, pretty incredible. We are definitely in the right spot. Do you think we're going to find Bigfoot? I hope, man, if you do, you've been blessed. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a blessing, man. Good hey, for you. We're going to look. Good luck. we find. <laughs> Thank you for all the information. As you can see, Willow Creek's most famous person is Bigfoot. And what I was about to find out would turn any doubter into a believer. This is the world's largest Bigfoot museum. I'm about to find some answers. This is our world famous Bigfoot room. The Bigfoot room. This is Terry, Bigfoot history nerd and incredibly helpful. The Bigfoot museum is littered with evidence of Bigfoot's existence going back decades. I'm talking newspaper articles, video footage, and even real molds of unnaturally large footprints found in the wild. We have footprints from all over. This is the larger than your normal foot. This one here is an original. Like oh my goodness. All right, shoes coming off. I'm in size eight and a half. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's a big foot. I might be laughing, but seeing this evidence of a creature that might be out in the woods is pretty unsettling. The Native Americans for years and years and years have said they, they, they believe in Bigfoot. There's a wow. big man out there. Terry explained to me that she has seen Bigfoot footprints in the snow. The prints went all the way through it, but what got me was the edges and the bottom were icy. You know what that means. Yeah. Had to have heat. Yeah, so Couldn't warm. Couldn't have been anybody on stills, nobody with wooden feet. Had to be heat to do that. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Holy mm -hmm. smokes. Okay. 18, All the way back to 1818. 1818, oldest known report of a large, hairy, upright walking creature in North American newspaper. This might be the most popular shot of Bigfoot, but according to Terry, there are several more recent recordings of the big fella. You'll see people be hiking, all of a sudden you'll see, they'll, they'll scan down below, you'll see something dark and tall walking. Wow. Upright. Terry showed me even more evidence, including a map of the area with confirmed sightings and detailed descriptions of each one. Wow. So it tells you what the sightings were. Okay. Terry had the perfect hotspot for us to go look at. Take 101 North and you get off there and it takes you right in the Redwoods. I actually saw way more crazy things than I thought we'd see. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. There's a lot in there. Funny because a lot of the researchers in that museum seem legit. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of like legit people, it seems like normal people people that 
have seen some things that they can't explain. That's crazy. And with that, we headed to the Redwoods, the largest trees on the planet and home of potentially the largest human-like creature to ever exist. With each lead, it feels like we're getting closer. And after arriving in the Redwoods, we got yet another lead. One relatively recent one is here at Trillium Falls. Right here at Trillium Falls? Yeah. There's no doubt that we are heading in the right direction. If Bigfoot is gonna live anywhere, it's gotta be here, right? This place is practically built for him. This is crazy here. Huge trees. So we've been in the woods for a couple hours now, and we're on our way to the falls where Bigfoot was reportedly last seen here in the woods. Saw this kind of suspicious looking trail, and I have an idea. I'm gonna try to lure Bigfoot out. Yeah, I don't know if he's really into being lured, but uh, if he is, I think I got the right stuff. Sundays for dogs. The best dog food on the planet. Sundays for dogs, Isaiah? What is that? If Bigfoot is health conscious like I am, then Sundays is perfect. It's health conscious food made from a short list of human grade ingredients. It sounds delicious. In fact, it includes USDA beef, all natural chicken, and zero percent synthetic ingredients. Sundays is also super convenient. It requires zero prep, zero mess, and honestly, zero stress. If that wasn't enough convincing, Sundays costs 40% less than other healthy dog food options. And that's because Sundays doesn't waste money shipping frozen packages, which is kind of perfect because as far as I'm concerned, Bigfoot does not have a refrigerator. If you want to support the channel and videos like this, please go and buy some Sundays for dogs for your furry friend and get 35% off using my code Isaiah at sundaysfordogs.com slash Isaiah. No, seriously, go get this stuff. It's actually delicious. All right, let's go find Bigfoot. Clear proof. B for Bigfoot. Huh. I mean, it has to be. That's his initial. So now we just need to do a forensic test on that. Clearly he's been here multiple times. I'm gonna send these into the lab, get them checked out. Yeah, I don't have a lab. Unfortunately, there's actually quite a few people around. I think it's something we're going to see at night. We're scoping it out for now. I guess we wait until dawn. And after looking up the definition of dawn, I, I realized that I said the wrong word, but it's too late now to redo that shot, so you know. Here we are. It's getting dark out. And this is the last spot, apparently, that Bigfoot was seen. And I've seen enough History Channel videos at this point to know that when something goes down, it goes down at night. If I die tonight, was it worth it? <laughs> we'll find out. Isaac and I did quite a bit of hiking through the woods in the dark. Definitely one of the strangest experiences of my life. It wasn't long until we made it to the spot that Bigfoot was last seen, which is when I realized that we are completely unprepared to face a violent ape-like creature. Clearly I'm not a Bigfoot expert in terms of hunting Bigfoot. This is my first opportunity to do this. I have hunted before though in the past. As far as I'm concerned, you're supposed to be quiet. Just so weird to be looking for a big creature like this. Weird is an understatement. Somehow everything is way scarier when it's pitch dark out. Did you hear that? Wait, did you hear that? We decided to look for footprints in the area before taking Ron's advice to let Bigfoot find us. Okay, so we made it to the falls. You can kind of hear them behind us. But we've been sitting here for a minute. And every once in a while, you hear a noise, like a, like some wood, either being like, it's like something scratching a tree or something. Or it doesn't sound that close, but do you hear that? Wait, there was. Did you hear that? It comes and goes a little bit. I can't, I can't tell where it's coming from. It's so distinct, though. Wait, it's getting kind of closer, yeah. isn't it? Is it coming from over there? It's coming from over there. Dude. Okay, it's getting pretty loud. Bro. Oh my. What is this? It's, I don't Wait, what is it? What is it? What? what is that? Oh my god! Bro, I feel And that's what you would expect to happen if you've ever watched a History Channel special on Bigfoot. It's pretty easy to convince someone that you've seen something with scary music and good editing. But this isn't a History Channel, and we don't fake it. But I didn't come out here to fool the internet with a fake Bigfoot encounter. If Bigfoot is really out there, I hope he's chillin', respectfully. 